What's going on, String Leaguers? It's competition number three, and this week, I'm bringing it home. At my studio, Style and Strings, I'm fortunate to work with some of the best artists in the world, and no one can die like Frankie Fingers can die. I'll let him explain how we're testing your skills this week. Hey, I'm Frank Stanley from Style and Strings Lacrosse, home of America's Best Pockets. For our contest, we are focusing on using new technology. SDX was awesome and gave us some pieces of their new knot mesh. This is something never seen before and brand new to this industry. Our contestants will be stringing this into their head however they see fit. I'll be judging them on creativity, and their effectiveness. The C-channel technology and the ACP plastic are some of the best tech that the industry has to offer. STX put all of that in the lightest weight head that they have to sell. That's gonna be the STX Superpower Plus. The Superpower Plus is by far the most dominant offensive head on the field, and it comes from a long line of protons, which is by far my favorite head combination ever made. Hey guys, it's Frankie Fingers here from Silent Strings Across. COO and lead die artist have been stringing here since 2011. For our competition, we wanted to see how the stringers dealt with new technology. We gave them a new piece of the SDX knot mesh that just came out this year. A lot of stringers have been struggling with this asymmetrical mesh, and we wanted to see how the contestants dealt with this. There's a lot of great properties to this mesh, but it's going to require every stringer who wants to string it to adapt. I want to thank everyone for their entries. It's been a great year so far. Let's go check out what they did. In last place is FL Stringer, and I think his problem was the theater. He stated that the feel of the mesh was its greatest weakness. The sensory effects of the mesh are actually an intentional characteristic. I feel like he was trying to fix something that wasn't an issue. Once he started going in that direction, the whole week started to fall away from him. Great pocket, wrong analysis of a problem. Next in line is Nick Lackstrings. I think he suffered from a very similar problem. The biggest problem with the knot mesh is that it's asymmetrical and that's different to stringers. In essence, all he did was cut the mesh in half and stitch it back together. I've been following him since season one and I think he could have been more creative. I will have to give him props for incorporating some cool colors of the red, white, and blue and the star at the top. I mean, it just lacked solving the problem. Hands down, the nicest looking pocket was by the Crossworks. I like that he infused a corner pocket to address the asymmetrical problems of the mesh. If there's one issue here though, I can't get over it. Pocket desperately needed shooting strings and he didn't tie them to anything. They're not anchored to the sidewalls or the plastic, which is very, very important. You'll notice that the second and first place pockets have no shooters at all. Their release was controlled by sidewall suspensions. This was a different concept altogether and it needed shooters and they weren't installed. This could have been a first place run for Jack String, except Richie B took it up one more notch in his pocket. Both Richie B and Jack String had similar ideas. They took the mesh, manipulated how they wanted to, and made it as part of the pocket. To the novice stringer, Jack String's pocket looks stronger, but in fact, they are equally as strong. Adding more string to a pocket doesn't necessarily increase its strength. It just adds for more problems and more difficult repairs. Richie B did the same thing, but with way less string. And lastly, Richie B did something I never saw before. Richie B unstrung part of the knot mesh and used it to string the rest of his pocket. He used the mesh of the mesh to string to the side of the head. Hands down, I've never seen anything like that before. Hands down, you win on originality alone. Overall, I think the stringers are doing a great job. We couldn't have had a better five contestants this year. With the leaderboards and everything, everything can change. Let's see if you guys can change and move up a spot. So there you guys have it. You can't have a much more fair judge than Frankie Fingers. Next week, we're going to go to Brooklyn, and we're going to see Connor. You guys can check out a preview of that show at the end, as well as the leaderboard. Till next time, guys, take care. Keep laxing. I'm Connor Wilson from LaxAllStars.com, and next week on String League, I'm asking you to create a truly innovative top star.